dear participants of the Space Debris Conference, um, I'm very sorry that I cannot be here with you today, but as you can see, I've been held up somewhere and it seems like I still have a lot of work to do before they let me go back home. Um, however, please be assured that I will closely watch what you do from above, uh, since the topic you're working on is essential to the life of an astronaut. Our modules are shielded and withstand the impact of objects up to one centimeter in size. Uh, however, I had to expose myself to the environment of space during a spacewalk, and our spacesuit, however fantastic it may be, is much less resistant. Um, so as exhilarating as the experience was, I could not forget what uh, our ESA experts in Darmstadt explained to me, especially when I was able to see impact features on the surface of the ISS during my work. The ISS will also have to conduct a debris collision, debris avoidance maneuver once in a while. Should the collision warning come in less than 24 hours until the event, a collision avoidance maneuver cannot be conducted anymore. In this case, our crew will have to close all the hatches and enter the safe haven, which is our Soyuz spacecraft, so that we can depart the ISS in case of a collision. This happened four times in the history of the ISS program. I really hope that you experts help to develop means and methods to avoid that I ever get into this situation. In my own interest, let me wish you a successful conference, interesting discussions, and think of us astronauts up here. So goodbye from space. <laughs>